Hello everyone, this is Calvin Castein, Red Northeastern Clinton Central School. We're here on this Friday afternoon, May 4th, 1990. And we were going to attempt to bring you the game from this side. Nice overcast afternoon, but uh, even with the overcast conditions, there's still too much sun in that direction. We end up with a dark field. So we're going to switch over to the other side. But we're here for a game in the CVAC, Champlain Valley Athletic Conference. Northeastern Clinton being visited by the Eagles of Beatman Town. Both teams with rookie coaches, Greg Myers for the Eagles and Ron Rivard for the Cougars. Both clubs at 2-2 two and two and identical as far as their opponents go. They have both defeated Plattsburgh High School and the Seton in the Saranac Central and both, both of them been, have been defeated by Peru and by Seton Catholic. Defensively for the Cougars, uh, a little bit different lineup than what we've seen the last couple times we've been here. We have uh, Michelle LePage back in the pitching rubber. She was absent last time we were here, or last time we covered Seton, which was a uh, Northeastern, which was at Seton uh, in Plattsburgh. Behind the plate is Heather Mazder, as usual. At first base, Anna Rivard. Second base, Sadie Charlin. Shortstop, we have a new shortstop as far as we're concerned, Jen Tatro. Third base, new third baseman, uh, former shortstop, Christy Barnes. Left field, Sarah Southwick, who was at third last time we were here. Christy, Christy Bullis is in center field. And Meg Carey in right field. The batting order for Beatman Town. Tammy Spooner will lead off, followed by Carrie Casey, Shabon McGowan, Sue Vorse, Sherry Bucksaw, Colleen Casey, Julie Miller, Elaine Parker, and Nicole Henry. Tammy Spooner. We'll leave things off for Beekman Town. Seems like only yesterday she was uh, replacing Faith Miller as the Beekman Town pitcher, and now she's a senior, and this is her final year already. Time goes fast uh, in high school years. Strike one from LePage as we start things here in the top of the first. Strike two. And the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, chopped foul, oh. strike. Now uh, actually 0-2, it stays at 0-2. Right. On deck, Carrie Casey. Foul. Oh. Umpires today, Frank Boise behind the plate. And on the bases, a fast Fred Pelkey. Non-starters for the Cougars, Chris Dufour, Kendra Hawksby, and Crystal Hawksby. Oh. Non-starters for Beekman Town, Shelly Mancini, Heather Duquette, and Jessica Wall. Ball one. Ball two. Two two the count. And a pitch from LePage. Swung on, fouled again. Ball three. Full count. Foul, uh, late decision on that one. A last split second decision by, by Spooner to swing at that one, protecting the plate. Ball four. Spooner draws the walk. He'll go to first, and the batter will be Kerry Casey. He gets the sign from uh, Coach Myers. Steps in. And a pitch from LePage. Strike. Spooner going down. Throw was high to Charlene. Good back up by Tatro. To Charlin, that second goes to third, and Southwick with a good heads up, back up. Nobody covering second. Uh, now Charlin's there. Should have gone for the out. 
Better now, the shortstop, Shabon McGowan. Strike one. Carry will go in, uh, Casey will go in uncontested. Well, 1-1 one, one to count. Nobody out. Two runners in scoring position for the Eagles. Popped up. Now they're back. Half the fence. And a 1-2 pitch. High. 22. 2-2. Slow roller. Barnes will go to first. Bard. Throw to second. And Spooner scores. So the Eagles pick up a run. It's 1-0 and the batter is Sue Vorse. Bucks are on deck. Strike one. Foul. Strike two. Hard hit. Southwick kicks it in left field. This will score a run. So it goes to second and keeps the runner at first. Robor stops at first. And brings up Sherry Buxaw. Two runs across for the Eagles here in the first with one out. It's strike one. Boris is there. She's out. And Charlin put the ball down, the glove down. Doesn't necessarily put your hand in the way, just to Kind of <laughs> stick the ball down there. Nice throw by Mazder. Down to the short. Tatro fields, throws to first. In time, gets her by a step. The Eagles pick up two. They lead 2 nothing as we head for the bottom of the first. Defensively for the Eagles. <laughs> we have uh, Tammy Spooner on the pitching rubber, and catcher is Colleen Casey. That's not Colleen here at the moment, though. That's Coach Myers. First base, Sue Vorce. Second base, Nicole Henry. Shortstop, Siobhan McGowan. Third base, Carrie Casey. In the outfield, Sh uh, Sherry Bucks on left. Julie Miller in center, and Elaine Parker in right. Leading off for the Cougars will be Christy Barnes, followed by Sarah Southwick, Anna Rivard, Sadie Charlin, Jennifer Tatro, Meg Carey, uh, Chrissy Boris, Heather Mazder, and Michelle LePage. Barnes, a left-handed batter. Cougars down 2 nothing after one half inning. Spooner, ball one. Strike. All right, one and one. Play ball. The third. Going away. Casey throws it away. Bill Barnes will go to second. Brings up the left fielder, Sarah Southwick. Strike one. Wow. 
Ball. On one to count. Foul back. To left center, short set, left center field. Bucks up, picks it up. Barnes stays put, so single for Southwick. Ball gets away. Batter now, Anna Rivard, first baseman. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Cougars threatening here in the bottom of the first. Strike one. Second. Just in time. Henry danced around, made the tag. Have runners at the corners. And the batter is the second baseman, Sadie Charlin. Play ball. One out. Strike. Throw down to second and cut off. By McGowan at shortstop. So Rivard in at second in scoring one. position. One and one. One one. Ball two. Ball three. It's away. Here comes Barnes. He's in there. Rivard scores. That's 2 2. So the Cougars pick up two and tie the score. And a 3 1 pitch. Ball four. Charlotte will draw the walk. And brings up the shortstop, Jennifer Tatro. Ball gets away. Charlin in the second. One ball. Slow bouncer back to Spooner. Throw to first in time, two down. And Charlin goes to third. Brings up the right fielder, Meg Carey. Go ahead, run, Charlin at third. Strike. Two down. Here comes Charlin. She's in. Three. Three and one to count. Right two, says Boise. Full count. Ball four. Terry draws the walk. Goes to first. And brings up Chrissy Boris, who just uh, threw a bat at one of her teammates. Strike one. 
3-2, Cougars leading with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Mazder on deck. Foul ball. <laughs> she didn't swing on it, but it hit her bat. Swung, hit her bat, so it counts as a foul ball. We're going to miss. Strike two. Oh, strike three. So the Cougars pick up three. They lead 3-2 as we head for the second inning. We're in the top of the second. Colleen Casey, the catcher at the plate. Miller on deck. Ball one. Cougars leading 3-2. This is game five of the season. And this is the last game where teams can afford to make a mistake. 16-game season. The first five games count only for the CBAC standings. The next 11 games will count toward not just the CVAC standings, but also the Section 7 title. Northeastern and Beatontown are both B schools, along with Seton, Plattsburgh High, and Peru. A walk for Casey starts the thing off here, puts the potential tying run on base. And Brings up the center fielder, Julie Miller, with Elaine Parker, the right fielder, on deck. Potential tying run on with nobody out for the Eagles. And a pitch from LePage. Takes a bunt. High. Ball one. We've been watching Julie's father, Jim Miller, playing softball for the Little Caesars team in the Gentlemen's League. LePage fires the first in time. Gets her by a step. Runner advances, but uh, you got the out. That's what you want to do. Batter now, Elaine Parker, the right fielder. Ball one. Inside. Ball two. Charlotte at second, makes the grab, no advance, two down. Better now, Nicole Henry. Henry, the second baseman, top of the order to follow, two outs. Fouls it back, strike one. Strike. Right? Okay. Popped up. The page coming in. Makes the grab. Nothing across for the Eagles. It's 3-2 as we head for the second, bottom half of the second. The catcher, Heather Mazder, will lead things off for the Cougars in the bottom of the second. Northeastern leading 3-2. Strike one from Spooner. Like two. Uh, outside, ball one. One and two. Foul. They hit the left field. Bucks up, picks it up, and gets it into second. Mazder on with a single. Brings up the pitcher, Michelle LaPage. Way high, ball one.
Ball two. Gets away. Mazur will be in at second. No throw. Both clubs at two and two. Strike. As far as Seton and Peru seem to be the two teams to beat in uh, Section 7 Class B action. So that's how clubs that both these teams have lost to. Just out the infield for a base hit for LePage. Puts runners at the corners. And brings up the third baseman, Christy Barnes. Nobody out. Runners at first and third. Cougars again threatening here in the second. Here's the pitch from Spooner. Gets away. And uh, LePage goes to second. Mazder stays at third. There's the pitch. Strike one and one. Like two. Way high. Two and two. Three two. We're gonna have a payoff pitch. Spooner delivers. Up the middle, it's gonna be a base hit. Two runs will score. Throw comes to the plate for some strange reason, and Casey out to get it, and Barnes will go back to second. We'll give Christy Barnes a couple of runs batted in, and about an hour will be Sarah Southwick. Northeastern leads 5-2. Nobody out here in the bottom of the second. As we said, both teams have lost to the same two clubs and defeated the same two clubs. Strike one. Out of play. And two strike pitch is fouled. Foul again. Popped up. Ball's out of play. Go to first, look at that. Ready? Play well, two strikes. Oh, and two the count. Line drive, base hit. Buxa picks it up on a hop, throw to third. Southwick on, on her toes, goes into second. Batter runners out, did not. He started to go to third, pitcher was in the circle, with the ball. When she started to go to third, she has to keep on going. She bluffed. Went to third, then turned around and went back to second. Okay, runners off. When the ball is returned to the pitcher in the circle, runner has to go immediately to a base. Not to dance around. So Southwick fainted, feigned a move toward the third and went to second. And uh, Belky called her out, which is the correct call. Revived the batter. Strike one. One down. Six to two. Cougars lead. Strike two. Okay? Don't get in there and let her pitch to you. Act the time. Let's go. Go, Anna! You can do it now, Anna. Come on now. To the left side. First in time. He's up Sadie Sharlin, second baseman and cleanup batter. Two 
Bauern. Strike, one and one. On the ground to third. Casey with the long throw in time. So the Cougars pick up three, we believe. We'll check that. And they lead 6-2 as we head for the third inning. Pitcher Tammy Spooner will come out to start things off in the Eagle half of the third. It's 6-2, Cougars lead. Ball one. Strike. One and one. Spooner hit herself in the helmet. <laughs> Never. I've never seen a ball come off the bat and hit, hit the helmet before, but it did. Came off the bat and hit the brim of the hat. Off, off the bat and hit the brim of her helmet. And <laughs> the reverberations uh, echoed in her ears, I guess. Two and two of the count. Out of play. And a 2 2 pitch. Out of play. 22, girl. And a repeat of the 2 2 pitch. In tight. Ball three. Ball oh. again. Again. Ball four. Spooner draws the walk. Looks like she's fearing for her life. And brings up Carrie Casey. Strike one. Foul back. Strike three. And the batter is the shortstop, Shaban McGowan. And pitch from the page is low. Well, oh. see Carrie in right field, ready to back up a throw to first. Outfield is going to stay in the ball game. Bouncer to third. Barnes goes to Charlotte. No throw to first. Two down. Two down now. Two down. Brings up Sue Vorse, the first baseman. All right, play ball. McGowan at second. There's a pitch from the page. 
Two down, McGowan tagging. No reason for that. Boris didn't call it. Boris, the outfielder's got to make the call. Got to call the infielder off. Got it now, Cherry, Cherry bucks off. Ran into Sherry at her brother's wedding over the weekend. Uh, found out she can do a mean, funky chicken. She and uh, the Cougar center fielder, Chrissy Boris, were there. Line shot, it's going to be a base hit. It's going to score at least one. Boris bobbles it. And two run scores. Boris chases in McGowan. And Bucksaw gets a couple of runs batted in. And a batter now, the catcher, Colleen Casey. Strike. She and uh, Carrie Casey have the map of Ireland written all over their faces. 6 4. We're in the third inning. Nice line shot. It's going to be a base hit. I got third. I got third. Boris bobbles it. Buxa stays at second. Batter now, Julie Miller. Tying run at first base for the Eagles. Elaine Parker on deck in tight ball one. Ball three, a walk would load him up. There's the pitch. Here, Takes all the way. Three and one. Three and one to count. And a pitch from the page. Strike call. Full count. Ball four. Uh, load him up. Miller goes to first. And that will be Elaine Parker. Base is loaded. Potential tying run at second. Potential go-ahead run at first base for the Eagles. Ball one. We're on the top of the third. Ball back. And a 1 1 pitch. Low ball two. And a 2 1 pitch. Bonds can't field it. Safe. Tatro made the play, but Pokey said she's safe. Out of dust. I don't know if a replay will help us on that one. The 6 5 ball game. And Nicole Henry, the batter. She's a second baseman. Three ball, three runs across. Soft liner to Charlene. She grabs for the third out. The Eagles pick up three. They trail by one as we head for the bottom of the third. 6 5 Cougars leading. Shortstop Jennifer Tatro. Start things off in the Cougar half Here of the third. Strike one from Tammy Spooner. Northeastern leading Beatman down by one run, 6 5. The center field is going to drop in. And Tetro on with a single. It brings up right fielder Meg Carey. Come on, Meg. 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 Come on,
Benny. Bring a little earth. Yeah. Put your head down. Walk on the pit. Ball. Take your old stay put. Go, Meg. Go on, Meg. Go on, Meg. Strike. One and one. Come on, Meg. All two. Base hit, the left field. I got third. Go on the ground. Off like a pig. Brings up center fielder, Chrissy Boris. Strike one. Did I give you a single? Come on. Oh, great. Ball ball. Foul back. Bye, Christine. Oh. All right. Go to third. Take those in. And on the throw to third. Terry goes to second. No two runners in scoring position for the Cougars. One more. Nobody out. One and two of the count. Pitch from Spooner. Foul back. Ball two. And a two-two pitch. Popped up. And a pitch. Swung and a miss, strike three, one down. Brings up the catcher, Heather Mazder. Two runners in scoring position, one down now. Popped up, out of play. Break two. Slow roller, Spooner picks it up. Rolls to first, here comes the runner. She's out at the plate. Third out. Oh, Cougars are scoreless here in the third. And going into the fourth, they lead the Eagles 6-5. Looks like Tammy Spooner will be leading off things here in the top of the fourth. 6-5, Cougars leading. There's a pitch from LePage. Popped up, out of play, strike one. Last time up, Spooner fouled off about a dozen of them. There's a ball. 1-1. Off the end of the bat, Barnes fires to first, in time, one down. Wings up, Gary Casey. Ball one. Center field, Southwick in, makes the basket catch, and we have two down. There's a Shaban McGowan, the shortstop. There's a pitch, ball one.
Center field is going to be in. All right, time out. Good time. Well hit ball to left field. This is going to be a four bagger. We have a new lead here, Beatman Town. The leads seven to six. Sue Vorse with the home run. Brings up Sherry Buxaw. Clean up batter got all of that one. Come on. Two and oh. Well hit. It's away from Southwick. It's going to get at least two. She's going to get three and maybe more. Buxa will be sent. And she's going to score. Buxa goes all the way around. Give her a single and three extra bases on the misplay in center. And brings up the catcher, Colleen Casey. 8-6, Eagles lead. Oh, ball one. Ball two. Off the handle, soft liner to Tatro. She'll squeeze it for the final out. The Eagles pick up a bunch. They lead by two. It's eight six as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Here we go. Pitcher Michelle LaPage in for the Cougars. Strike one. Bottom of the fourth. Beatman Town with the two run lead. Three runs in the top of the inning to take a 8 6 advantage high. Ball two. I'll bet. And 2-2 two -two pitch high, ball three, full count. Just misses, ball four. The page draws the walk. She'll go to first, brings up the top of the order now. Third baseman, Christy Barnes. Potential tying run at the plate for the Cougars with nobody out here in the bottom half of the fourth. Strike on the outside edge. Strike one. Strike two. Spooner coming right after. Hi. One, two. Page will be in at second as the ball gets away from uh, Casey. 2-2 two -two the count.
Pulled down by shortstop McGowan. We have one down. And Sarah Southwick batting. We weren't sure if she was going to bat. She's limping. There's a pitch from Spooner. Bounces, ball. The page will be in at third. Ball. Ball three. Southwick takes all the way. Strike one. Three and one. To left field, Bucks uh, grabs. One out. Or is that two outs? Two outs. Two down, and Anna Rivard the batter. We have uh, Jessica Waugh in the game for Beatman Town. She's in right field replacing Parker. Rivard the batter. And pitch from Spooner bounces. Page is going to come in and score. Well, the Page makes it 8 7. And she scores, and the ball getting away in the dirt. That is, I believe, four runs the Cougars have scored that way this game. That's over half their seven runs. Here's the pitch. Strike 1 1. Popped up, out of play. Cougars have, and, have led at the end of every inning thus far. Two two pitch, ball three. And payoff pitch, ball four. Revire to go to first, will bring up the cleanup batter, second baseman Sadie Charlin. Potential time run at first for the Cougars. Here's the pitch to Charlene. Strike call. Rivard is in at second. Strike two. And the 0-2 pitch. Ball just misses. Throw to third. Revive is in. Revive at third. One and two the count. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Cougars trailing 8-7. Line shot caught by Casey at third base. Stuck her glove up and pulled down the ball. Line shot, well hit ball. We're going now to the fifth inning with Deepman Town leading for the first time in the game, 8 7. Julie Miller will lead off the fifth inning for Beekman Town. They have a one run lead, 8 7. Strike from LePage. Hit the third. Barnes bobbles. Miller reaches on the error. Batter now, Jessica Wall. Batting for the first time, she replaces Parker. Ball. Strike. 
Sidney, go to the back, back of it. Put the tag on. One one. One one pitch is drilled foul. Strike two. One two pitch high. Two and two. Ball three. Ball. Ball four. Wall draws the walk. And Nicole Henry will step in. Second baseman. Nobody out here. A bouncer back to LePage. Goes to Rivard. Had she fielded it cleanly, she would have gone to third, but wasn't able to field it cleanly, so she had no choice but to go to first. Gets us back to the top of the Beekman Town order, and a pitcher, Tammy Spooner. Two runners in scoring position, one out. It goes up by one. Foul ball. We had a defensive change for the Cougars. We have Kendra Hoxby in the game. Ball. 1-1. One, one. Hoxby playing right. Meg Carey has gone to left field. 1-1. One one. Long shelf. Two strikes. <laughs> Line shot, base hit, right down the line. This is going to score two. Here comes Wall. It's a 10 to 7 ball game as the Eagles pick up two, and Spooner helps her cause by driving in a couple of runs. Bring us up, Carrie Casey. Pitch from LePage. Strike one, throw to second. Spooner is out. Nice throw, nice tag. Master got the ball down. And Charlene just put the ball in front of the bag. That's all you have to do. You don't try to tag the runner. You get the glove with the ball in front of the bag and let the runner slide into the tag. Two down. All in one. Foul back. Foul in two. Hi. One and two. Short center field. It's going to drop in. Brings up Shaban McGowan. Low bouncer to Barnes. She's going to go to first in time to Rivard. So Eagles pick up two in the fifth. Going to the bottom of the inning. They lead 10 7. Go, Jen. Come on. Do it. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Jennifer Tetro at bat. Takes strike one. Keeping town leading 10 7. With two runs on the top of the inning to increase their lead. Top of the field, Wall coming in, makes the catch. Brings up the left fielder, who started the game in right field, Meg Carey. Well hit ball by Tetro, but uh, right at Wall, it's been a nice grab coming in on it. Ball one. Strike. Ball two. Two and one. Come on, Meg. Come on, Meg. 
Strike two. And a pitch from Spooner. Foul out. Carry protecting the plate. Well, three two, full count. Right three looking. Two down. Brings up Kendra Hoxby. Up for the first time. She's in for Boris. She looks at ball one. Ball two. Strike. Two and one. Right two. Yeah, same strike that got uh, Carrie looking. Outside, three two. Full count. Bottom of the fifth, beaten down up by three. Yeah, uh, Buxa comes in, tries to backhand it. It's going to be at least two bases. And Hockfield will stop at second. Here's up the catcher, Heather Mazder. Mazder seems to be enjoying herself today. Swing and a miss, strike one. Probably didn't enjoy that though. Plays off. Hawksfield oh, going to third. And a one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Drop third strike. Mazur will race to first. Throw is safe at first. And Hawksby. Running in, scores. I don't know. A drop third strike. Hawksby could have been out at the plate uh, had uh, Casey gone for the tag instead of the throw. But we don't really know if it was close enough there or if the throw was the best move or not. We'll have to check the replay on it to, to see. I thought they had a play at the plate on that one. It makes it 10-8. Michelle LePage, the batter, representing the potential tying run with two down here in the bottom of the fifth ball. As they're going, she's going to be in at second. Right, two and one. And very quickly, ball three, three and one. I strike two. Ball four. Page walks, throw to third. Out at. She stepped in front of her. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Come on, Riff. As they're out at third. Cougars insisting that the uh, shortstop stepped in front of the runner, but Fred uh, Pelkey insists not, so it's 10 8. We're going to the sixth inning. The home run slugger Sue Vorst takes ball one. In the gap. In the gap. 
Southwick over to get it. Throw comes to the cutoff, throw to third, and gets away. Delvoris gets four bases, a triple and extra base on the ball getting away. On the top of the six, it's 11 to eight. Beekman Town brings up Terry Buxaw. Terry Buxaw, the, cent the left fielder. Ball one. Ball two. Ball. Three and Three and Strike. Three and one. Ball four. Bucks a walks. Gotta be another ball around, coach, somewhere. Play, play ball. Brings up Colleen Casey. Strike, throw to second. Out, another nice play. And again, they executed it properly. Mazda with the throw, low throw, and Charlene grabbing the ball and sticking it in front of second, letting this feel the uh, base runner slide into it. Did not lunge at it with a tie, just stuck the ball in front of the base. Up the middle, Tatro to first, two down. And brings up Julie Miller. There. Right there. Could be trouble. Carry coming in. Fair ball, just in fair territory. Brings up Jesse Wall. There's a pitch from LePage. Strike one. Off the handle, Tatro should have it. She does. Eagles pick up a run. They lead 11-8. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. Christy Barnes in to lead off for the Cougars here. In the bottom of the sixth, and they're trailing by three. We have a New second baseman, Shelby Mancini and for Henry for the at second base for the Eagles. Well, three now. Strike on the outside corner. Three and one. Strike two. Three two. And payoff pitch. Back to Spooner. Those divorce we have one down. And brings up uh, center fielder Sarah Southwick. Ball one. All two. All three. 
Three and all the count. That's right. Three and one. Strike right, two call. Shot up the middle. And, Mill and uh, Southwick on with a single. As Miller gets the ball in, brings up the first baseman. Anna Rivard. A bunt. Go to first, they have her. Two down. Batter now, the cleanup batter, Sadie Sharlin. South look at second. Two down. Cougars trailing by three here in the sixth. Strike one. To short, to third. Just in time at first to get her. Long throw from uh, Kerry Casey. And gets Charlene by half a step. We're going to the seventh inning. Beatman down, leading by three, 11 8. The new second baseman, Shelly Mancini, steps up to lead off the seventh inning. Our team up by three. Both clubs two and two in a year. Off the handle, foul ball, strike one. Off the handle, strike two. And a pitch from LePage to the right side, left side. Kara Casey, excuse me, Kerry makes the grab. Gets us back to Spooner, the pitcher. Foul, strike one. Ball. Two. And a one two pitch. Taken high. Ball two. Two and two. Ball three. Full count. And a payoff pitch. Swing and miss. Dropped by Mazda. Throw to Rivard in time. Two down. And Hawksby backing up the play. Brings up Kerry Casey. Two outs. Top of the seventh. Looking ahead to the bottom of the inning will be the five, six, and seven batters coming up for the Cougars. At the top of the order failed to score in the bottom of the sixth. Hit to Hawksby. Throw to second. Take throw not covering the bag. Strip on McGowan. We're two down here and Casey at second. Clean up batter Vorce on deck. Here's the pitch. Ball. Oh. 
ball out there. Come on. Two and oh. Well, there you know. Ball four, David. Ball four. Brings up the power hitting Sue Vorse. She has a homer and a triple to her credit. Pitch from the page. Foul back. Strike one. Strike two. The page ahead in the on the count. All and two. Boris going to get her rips. I don't think she'll be slowing that swing down any. Popped up. Barnes over. Makes the catch for the third out. Oh, nice catch by Barnes. Gets Vorce on a foul ball. A big play there. That could have been three runs. Uh, you want to get Vorce out any way you can. So it's 11-8. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. Beaten down leading Northeastern. Chris Dufour will bat first here for the Cougars. She's batting for Jennifer Tatro. Ball one. Make carry on deck with uh, Kendra Hawksby to follow and Heather Mazder and Michelle LePage after them. 11-8. Beaten Town leading. Cougars down to their final three out. Both clubs, as we said, two and two coming in. Here's a ball. Two and oh. Strike. Two and one. Ball three. Three and one. Strike two. We'll have a payoff pitch and the leadoff batter here in the seventh. The bottom of the seventh. Here's the payoff pitch in the dirt. Ball four. Two four. We'll go to first. And brings up Meg Carey. Strike on the outside corner. Do four going. She's out at second. Don't know if she's running on her own. I can't imagine stealing. With uh, down by three. Well, one and one. Ball two. Ball three. Three and one. Taking all the way. Three, two. Have another full count. High ball four. Carry will draw the walk. Second walk of the inning, but we have one out and only one run around. Kendra Hawksby, the batter. Strike. 
Right. Like two. One and two. You want me to go tell the other team? No, right, right on, Kendra. Right, three. Like three. Two down. Master Hawks, another Hawksfield. Get there. Master. Crystal Hawksfield pinch hit here for Heather Master. With two out in the seventh. Strike one. A page on deck. Strike two. Alright, ball. One ball, two throw. One, two. Like three swinging. So the Eagles pick up the victory here. They come from behind, 11 8 win. For the visiting Beatman Town Eagles, they move to three and two. The Cougars drop to two and three. So that's the way it was in CVAC Varsity Girls action here on this. Friday, May 4th, 1990 at Northeastern Clinton Central School in Champlain.